All right, YouTube. <laughs> Take number three. My phone's been acting super weird. Doing stuff daily here. Hanging out with uh, a bunch of rods. Crankshaft and lathe. Got Mr. Crankshaft right there. He's missing an arm. We're going to weld that back on at some point, but, you know, some pistons. Either way, I'm sure you're all getting very familiar and aware of the issue with the Subarus and their rod knock. It's good stuff. Uh, due to oil problems, whether it's a cracked pickup tube here that we have, you know. This one didn't crack, but either way. Or it uh, could be pre-ignition detonation, knock, or just run the oil low, going around bends. It fills the head up, doesn't get back, so it can't get back to the pickup. And uh, they have, you know, obviously... Uh, it's always the center two, number two and three rods, because they're the last ones to get the oil there in the center, center of the channel, and the least amount of pressure out of them, or to them. So either way, uh, this one, he uh, kept driving it, I guess. I don't know, I just bought the car. It had a serious rod knock, one of the loudest ones I've ever heard. But, you know, I was like, whatever, I can rebuild it. So I bought it. And as you can see, <laughs> yeah, he ran it. Uh, he ran it for a long time, I guess, without oil. Because I've had a few that you know, you hear the bearings go out, you hear the knock, you drive it home, even though you shouldn't. But you drive it home, and then you get it home, and it's still not that bad, as long as you drive it nice. And then you can see the journals on the crankshaft. They're uh, they're also pretty torn up. Even the mains. Even the mains got it. Just because if you drive it that long, you run it that long with all the uh, shrapnel from the rod bearings destroying themselves, it's going to get on everything, including your camshafts and cam journals. And then it's just it's just not good. It's not good to do. You get rod knocked, pull it over, stop. The other issue that Severs have is ring lands. Um, and same with pre ignition detonation, can also cause the bearings to blow out because you have an un controlled explosion inside the cylinder causing all kinds of vibration and noises and that's more normally due to uh, you know uh, Subarus you like to put a down pipe on to get that nice rumble and you put an intake on to listen to the turbo whistle but then you miss two key things by doing that uh, if you're not gonna tune it for it well you're gonna spool your turbo early which means you're not reducing your ignition timing at that part of the table and you're also not adding any fuel at that part of the table so <laughs> you're basically building a structure to have pre-ignition and detonation happen to your engine and when that happens this could be a result so you blow your rod bearings out it goes makes all kinds of noise um, you break your ring lands as you can see, this just fell out. So that's what a ring land. If you, uh, piston ring land. Yeah. Completely gone. Snapped right in half. All four of them were like this. Well, actually it wasn't four, it was just two of them. Um, also the skirts, they were pretty bad. I don't know what this one looks like, but... Just, again, from all that metal, just floating around in the oil. Yeah, there's the bottom side. Floating around the oil, just tearing up the skirts, tearing up, tearing up the, the cylinder walls. Just all in all, it's just not good. It's not good. So, and this one was an exceptionally bad case. I know he was driving this for a long time, because if you watch, you'll see as I rotate this crankshaft, it is actually bent. It's about 86 hundredths. Or 860 thou. It's um, about two millimeters of deflection. If you watch this uh, this end piece right there, you'll be able to see how much it actually changes. So it's a good bit. Um, the other way, you can tell. I'm take one of these. Uh, I'm gonna take one of the good rods, one of the ones that survived. We'll just slip this through here. Oh yeah, look at that. Hardly any resistance or drag. Try to do the same thing over here, and uh, oh. <sighs> needless to say, it doesn't have the same clearance as the other side does. Check this one, this one's open. Oh, 
we're hitting the lathe here. Run into our. So yeah, we got a seriously bent crankshaft, which now we're gonna turn into a dog and put a leash on it, because uh, you know, kind of walk the crank on this one. And what else better to do than make a dog out of it? But either way, you know, that way uh, Mr. Crankshaft there, he can be holding holding the leash, walking his dog. But yeah, this is why you don't change the intake and exhaust on your Subaru to, uh, you know, get that nice sound or the turbo whistle. You don't do that without changing your map. Because you're just going to cause damage. And it's not going to last very long. So either way. Doing stuff daily. Or fixing stuff daily I guess. Just because other people don't pay attention and don't really understand. What the dealio is. Yeah. That's all folks. Have yourself a good day.